A package in the mail, MSX came from Japan. Collecting without fail, those shoot 'em ups, and that's the plan. He doesn't just collect them, he also codes them too. Join us and we'll go on electric adventures with you. Hey YouTube, Electric Adventures here with a little box of games from Japan. Um, now, sadly, this box has actually been sitting on a shelf in the corner of the games room, um, hidden behind the pool table there, which is now on wheels and I can move it around. Um, so I have absolutely no idea what's in here. <laughs> and uh, it's very sad it's been sitting there for such a long time. Um, so, let's all see what in the world's I bought probably quite a long time ago. Um, now the first one that's come out is a Saturn title, a double CD one. Um, I really like, uh, so this stickers have probably been on there for a long time too, at least as long as it's plastic. Really love playing these games on the PC. Um, uh, probably a game you probably need a mouse for, I don't think I've got the Saturn mouse, but it is Command and Conquer. That's a double CD one, which in some ways is a little annoying because they don't fit in CD racks, but I worked it out. So, Command and Conquer, interesting to see what that's like on the Saturn. Uh, next, we have a game for the PC Engine. Haven't done a uh, PC Engine gameplay for a, a long, long time, so definitely enjoy this one. And I um, um, in, in America it's called Bonk's Adventure, um, so PC Genjin, I think it's, this is the first one. Everything seems to be in there. Uh, a very good game to have had sitting around for quite a while. Uh, number 24 in the Hudson Library. A couple more CD games. Oh, cool. Racing game. I like racing games. So, flipping over to the Dreamcast now, we have Sega Rally Championships 2. Once again, it would be nice to actually have a game on the Dreamcast for once. Some slightly more modern gaming, eh? I mean, I do like my 8-bit and, uh, and also 16-bit stuff, but sometimes it's nicer to go on the newer systems and play something a bit newer. So that looks all complete. From memory wouldn't have been very expensive, probably only uh, one or two dollars. Um, then we have another Saturn game. I'm really not familiar with this one. Um, Daedalus it's called. Looks like it's a 3D game. And I definitely don't think I've got that one in my PAL Sega Saturn collection. So, looks a bit first person shooter type of game. Looks all in good condition. So, we'll definitely give that a try and see what it's like. So, one more title in the box. And. Um, game in a series, a shooter series that I uh, like, I actually quite like. I actually have the original arcade board of the very first game. Um, it is by video, it is, one of, but I, I mean, this is a Nintendo 64 game, so it'll be interesting to see whether they manage to capture the feel of the game, and it is Sonic Wings Assault, which I've never heard of. Never even knew there was a Sonic Wings games for the Nintendo 64. Obviously it is going to be a 3D game. Um, and we might give it a try. We might as well. Um, all good games for us to um, have a go of and have a bit of fun. So, uh, without further ado, and uh, without me rambling too much, let's go play some of these games. Help maintain the right, here we go with Deadless. There's a bit of a opening narrative 
bit of FMV in English. This game brings back some memories. Maybe I do actually have this game on in power. But anyway. Setting up a bit of a narrative. All right, we'll, we'll get into it. As we've got a couple of days to get through. <coughs> okay. So heavy use of FMB. <coughs> fire first before we get too carried away. A is actually shooting. Noticing that there is a map thing up there. Look, and that definitely goes to
finally worked it out. Okay. Controls a little confused. Probably would have been easier to work out if I was actually playing with a um, set normal set control rather than the arcade stick, but let's go this way first. best playthrough of this game. <laughs> Yeah. 
around, showing my imminent death. Further, at least. I'm giving us lots of ammo, but no energy, unfortunately. Um, so not too bad for my first gameplay. Um, it's interesting. I don't mind uh, exploratory uh, first-person shooters like that. In, in a way, it's a little like Alien, um, Alien trilogy as well. Um, all right, that's pretty good. Let's move on to our next game. All right, here we go, Command and Conquer. Um, I really did enjoy this game on the PC. ちょっと
to the um, oh, other than the intros, they haven't really changed the game much. First Command and Conquer, the intelligence of some of the units is a bit limited. Not much to the map again. Oh, there we go, we got all of them. Nice butterfly from memory. I reckon a tank rolls over it, yep. <laughs> right, so I think we've got our first base. So it's a real time strategy game, Command and Conquer, for those who are not familiar with it. Um, the second one after June 2. But, it but Command and Conquer introduced the cutscenes and things like that as well to add on to the gameplay. So, I actually did quite well. I can obviously put my name in to get on the high school table. We'll just to start another level. Um, so now that was just the intro mission and now you actually have the game proper where you have the different territories, you've got the neutral ones and the ones right we can only select our entry one there I think gotta work our way in oh, it's got a password system <laughs> a few games to get through. It actually looks like quite a good version. Um, was very mouse orientated though, so playing it with um, More troop, or oh, more troop. So we should have some troops behind over there. I'm getting reinforcements as well. whether it's an actual mobile construction yard. Oh, did I cancel that? Great. <laughs> oh, I was getting used to it. Let's go along this beach. Fast. 
but with um, RTS games like this, you've got to make sure you progress nicely forward so you've got you know, the numbers when it comes to finding things. So anyway, as you can see, just trying out some of the other controls here. Change the planet, change the thing. So it's an RTS game, so it takes a little while to get into and play. It has an interesting music playing in the background, which I hope won't copyright strike. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Who cares? Um, all right, let's try our next game. Oh, here we go, PC Engine. Uh, very much looking forward to. Give this one a go. Go okay, back to the title screen. 989. Since he was the semi mascot of the PC engine. So I can hit butt and jump. So one and two. Okay, that gives us something, yeah. Played the um, Famicom version of this and the um, Super Famicom version. Whoops. Oh, I don't think that is any good, but lost some heart there. Let me go back. Based on oh, mm -hmm. Super Bomb, Grumpy Bomb, Does that last for a little while. Say a trainer. I don't think there's any real score, is there? Or is that down at the bottom? So a sip of coffee, which has unfortunately gotten cold. <laughs> Oops. Oh, Got it. Just a little bit of 
Aha. Uh -huh. Pressing the button. Right, there we go. You can show it. that. Okay, so jumping on them doesn't actually... Oh, unless I did a... Did the old head dive thing. It's not too hard. Depends if you're hopeless like me. Go to that more. Yeah, you know what? Oh god. Uh oh. Oh no, I killed a punk. You sleep. Oh, you gotta press start to keep going. Okay. Fair enough. Oh, I've killed one already. <laughs> services. Thank you. 
woke him up. And now we go inside his mouth, let me guess. I'm almost dead though. <laughs> uh, I'd be slow sometimes. Haha, <laughs> it's funny. We're inside the um Whoops. Oh. We're actually inside the monster now. So very cute, um, excellent little platformer, but obviously I'm hopeless at, but that was my first time playing it, so I hope you forgive me. Alright, we've got one more game to go now. Let's go play. Right, quite looking forward to this one. Here we go with Sega Rally. Um, oops. Yeah, so can't promise I'll be any good, and I haven't. And this is good because I haven't actually had the Dreamcast out for a little while. Um, using this controller rather than the arcade stick that I normally use for Stormwind. Just set a little bit because I'm sure that's quite loud. Okay, so we're not going to play a whole championship, but we. Oh, it's quite loud. There we go. Sorry, just just my audio so I can hear. Let's go. And we'll skip the dog for the car. I yeah, actually quite like playing Sega Rally in the arcades. We go for automatic, haven't played for ages. I said quite looking forward to this one, so. But expect me to be pretty terrible to start with. Three, three, two, two, one, one, go, go! Get a slide there, get used to it. Pretty good. Get out of the way. Ooh, back to Tarmac. Thirteenth. Okay. Let's go. I said, it's just an enjoyable racing game because it's got multiple stages and and um, yeah, this version looks pretty good. And I said, I'm only using automatic because my books are used to the controls. Thank you. 
too heavy on the brake. No, at a time. Ah! <laughs> out of practice. Um, cool, cool. Um, very much looking forward to giving this one a very good play. Probably play it for a little while after finishing this video, in fact. Um, some excellent games that have sadly been sitting on the shelf um, in a box that I had forgotten about, but um, awfully nice. And I haven't actually done some 32-bit level uh, gameplays for a while, although PC Engine is 8-16-bit, but anyway. Alright, I'm Electric Adventures. Thanks to all my subscribers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.